All right, hey guys, uh, Andrew here. Look, I'm going to talk to you today about finishing off or the stages after we've actually lined uh, the inside of the house. And so this is a home that I built down in Sydney and we're gonna go and have a bit of a look inside here and see if we can just visually explain what it is that we're going to do. So I'll just open up these doors here and we'll try and explain finishing off. Now, items like furniture and paintings aren't part of finishing off and usually it's un usual for a builder to actually have those items uh, in a contract. Uh, so furnishings, all of these type of things aren't. However, painting, cornice, skirting, power points and lights, uh, and floor finishing are considered part of a finish off. And I would usually walk my clients through a home and have a bit of a look at, you know, carpet styles, uh, you know, paint colors, so that I can explain to tradespeople. Uh, in, not in all cases will painters understand English or all of your subcontractors understand English. So being able to explain where different colors might, might be in a house uh, and where different items are going to go and different materials are going to go. But finishing off is generally the skirting, the finishes on the walls, uh, the kitchen. So let's go and have a look at the kitchen. Uh, so we would have our cabinetry, uh, we'd have all of our electrical appliances. Um, we, we might have our ovens and cooktops. And really this all depends on what's in the contract uh, between the client and the builder. Traditionally, builders try and stay away from furnishings, uh, landscaping, and all of those items, but bathrooms, uh, fixtures, uh, anything that's attached to the walls or the floor is usually part of a finish off. And that finish off um, will, once it's completed, would actually, we would then stick in a cleaner to go in and, and tidy everything up. And then we would usually do uh, some sort of quality control inspection. We would notate all of the items in a quality control inspection, and then we would hand them back to the subcontractors to get them to come and do any repairs or any touch ups or anything required. So again, finishing uh, would be splashbacks, kitchens, ovens, electrical appliances, bathrooms, toilets, shower screens, uh, and all of those items would be part of a finish off. Uh, and basically what we'd be doing is be preparing the project to be handed over to the client. If other things are inside of the contract, for instance, landscaping, then essentially we would uh, go and have a look at the landscaping, and probably do external finishes. So in some cases, the contract might cover external tiling or decking or pools uh, and even landscaping. So it is very contract specific. Uh, so um, it is important to read the contract and the job brief to understand what part of finishing off is required. But usually an internal finish off is typically what a project builder would do uh, and landscaping and so on would be more of a custom builder, I guess. All right, I hope it helps guys. Cheers.